Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be looking at uh, limiting our text field uh, to a maximum uh, count. So basically uh, you sometimes encounter this where like you know you're you have a text field and you can only you only want to allow up to certain number of characters uh, to be accepted within your text field. So you don't want to like you know let it go to infinite amount and user can enter and then you filter it out rather than that you actually limit your text field um, and uh, that sets the expectation for your user basically how much content they can put within the text field for example if i have this like text field i'm gonna say um, uh, let's say dev de i cannot type any further basically uh, if you notice i'm trying to type uh, i can see if I can type here uh, but I cannot type right uh, because we are limiting the number of characters that can be typed into this text field so we're gonna see how we can uh, how we can actually uh, set that by setting the max character that's allowed on the text field so we're gonna create our own observable object and we're gonna be yes we're gonna be using observable obje obje observable object for this one and uh, you're gonna see how you can actually achieve this Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna create a class, and uh, we're gonna say text. Uh, call this text field uh, manager observable. So remember, it's not observed object. That's gonna be the other one, uh, the other side of the observable object. This is gonna be observable. So we're gonna. This is observable protocol, and. Uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make our text basically publish, make our manager publish the text. So we're gonna say at published uh, var text, okay? And initial value is gonna be empty, but when text is being set, we're gonna say if the text dot count is greater than and uh, we're gonna set the character limit. So we're gonna actually expect our users to pass that character limit. So um, I'm gonna say right here, uh, let char limit is int, okay? And uh, we're gonna take it as a part of initializer. So limit is going to be int. And uh, default is gonna be five. So if they don't provide anything, we're gonna actually set it to five and we're gonna say child limit is equal to limit like so okay um, now we're gonna say it is greater than child limit and the old value dot count is less than equal to child limit then what we're gonna assign to text is basically the old value so we always revert back user to the old value okay and that's how we can actually limit our user not entering more than uh, what's allowed to enter in the text field so uh, we're gonna we, now we're gonna create observed object which is gonna observe these changes and we're gonna say text binding um, binding manager text Text field manager, uh, field manager. Okay, there we go. And uh, we're gonna set the limit to be, um, let's say, fifteen this time. Okay. And um, then uh, we're gonna create our body, and in the body, we're gonna create our text field. And inside the text field, we're gonna have placeholder. And uh, the object that we're gonna uh, observe is gonna be text binding manager dot text. Okay. Now notice the uh, observable uh, or binding is at uh, binding is at the uh, text binding manager because that's the one that we are observing for the changes. Okay. And so that makes the entire class observable. So basically. Uh, be, whoever is publishing they're gonna get their value back here so if you had another variable let's say character limit was uh, publishing as well then we can just simply say dollar text binding manager dot character limit and you're gonna get that value back as well as 
as an observed observed property so basically yeah what we are doing is we are subscribing here so okay rounded border text field and then we can add some padding awesome so let's go ahead and run this and um, let me okay yeah so that's good all right so now let's enter so as you can see uh, I am trying to I'm trying to type but I cannot type anymore because it has run out that 15 character uh, limit. So what it's doing basically is whenever I type, it takes the old value that was assigned, which is devtechy enter, and uh, it actually assigns it back to a text that's being observed and uh, being published, and then uh, the text field that's observing that and actually puts that value inside the text field, okay? So yeah, so this is it for this video. This is, I, I just wanted to show you how you can basically a simple publisher and observer, um, uh, you can basically uh, achieve this amazing uh, result by like, you know, observing how many characters you're changing. You can even extend this to basically just allow user to um, enter numbers or any, any sort of like, you know, character set. Um, so you can do that and, and maybe like, you know, in future we'll create a, a video on that. Okay. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thanks again for watching.